I think the publications are um, driven, of course, by wanting to answer questions, but also the, virtually all the publications are done with other people. So it's a kind of team work, um, and the idea of just you know getting the best input from different people, um, and that I think has been an enormous plus. I mean, personally, I would have never expected when I was a student at Queen's or before that in Amsterdam that, we, that I would ever do this kind of thing. Well, it's interesting. There are many, many good pieces of advice that I could uh, produce, none of which may be uh, appetizing <laughs> to students, but but one thing stands out and that is that, and that relates a bit to what Martha is saying, is that as a student one starts often with a master's and then a PhD and the PhD is focused on a particular issue and one in a way is, has a, a, back, you know, a broad background but not necessarily one is not an expert yet. I think the art, I've, I think for the future, will, with these complicated uh, problems, is to become an expert in an area soon after your PhD, and then actually turn around and say, okay, what is next? What is the next expertise that I need to develop? Because nowadays <laughs> it's simply not advisable to be expert in one thing. Um, and be um, trying to, to create a career out of that. The complexity of the material really requires expertise in many different areas. And the, the question indeed, what is, else is out there that could be explored um, is really wonderful. And, and one has to just open oneself up to it. No, I think, I, I personally not. But when Martha retired, I had a t-shirt made uh, for her, uh, which in a way characterized her very much. Um, and the t-shirt had an inscription on it, and, and it said, curiosity cannot be cured. Or there's no cure. Or there's no <laughs> cure for curiosity, sorry. No. Yes. And that, that, in a way, typifies, you know, Marta very much, and to some extent me too, you know, so that's a nice motto. And uh, Rolf is certainly very energetic and extremely organized with his time. And um, that's why he's able to fit in these different careers, really, into one life. And. Um, what else can I say? He's a, a good person, an honest person and wonderful to live with. Yeah, I think there's only one thing that I, one major thing that, that I would add to this, and that is Martha has a, a personal warmth that is um, very enduring. I feel very uh, privileged that uh, I'm the person that she lives with. You know, because it's, it makes an enormous difference and it's very difficult actually to express what that means. But um, I feel very, very lucky. Your work, both your work has done to inspire me. Well, there you are. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs>